which is uh, Ghana ShopRite, uh, Kumasi, and other places, where we're providing them with vegetables as well. Because snails is a year long project. And then, in between, how do you get revenue? That is what we are looking at. So, and because there's a similarity between the projects, so the snail pen and the vegetable pen, the only difference is the color of the neck. So, we said, hey, you know, there's a similarity here. We don't really need to go too much out of our way to get this started. So, we started their vegetables as well. And now we have a pure contract with them to provide bell peppers. They are selling the bell peppers as 89.99 seeds at the mall. So, they are, yeah, per kilo. And a kilo is about five pieces of them. And each plant is able to give you about 17 to 20 fruits basically and that is exceptional it means that we are getting a big uh, profit out of that because we are growing premium uh, an outlet in Kumasi and then we have some in Accra here so this is going to be like our headquarters in Accra here because the chunk of our clients were in Accra so the right business plan option is to come here and set up because always clients say hey i want to see i want to feel we say oh go to Kumasi, come to Kumasi. that's not acceptable so we are doing now here and this is going to be a demonstration farm and this is what clients can see so in the near future you come there will be a green uh, vegetable greenhouse here uh, the snail should be there we're doing four greenhouses for the snails there and then we will have a small office like set up here as well so that we do things properly so that is what we are doing currently these are if you have questions you can ask them they say no along the way these are drip systems so we roll them up like that and immerse them in water so that they do not break so these are drip systems that we do so everything is semi-automated Anna is an expert in IoT internet of things so she does all the automations and the click 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 stuff you know and uh, basically we are good to go so these are hats you this can be so no 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 we buy. we buy so these are used uh, in other fields for uh fatigation that yeah. is water and sprinklers etc yes but we make use of them in the greenhouses so the greenhouses for vegetables are going in the back so we use mediums like this. This is cocoa cocoa peat. Yeah. It is from the cocoa, uh, the cocoa coconut yeah. that we drink, you know, and then we blend it and use it as a soil medium. Yeah. So because the soil here has a lot of nematode, especially if you are growing tomatoes, they will really kill it and have swollen shoes, other things like that. So these ones are not soil. So you can easily treat them and they are coarse and they do not mud they do not turn into mud like soil soil will break down and turn into mud uh, in no time so these we have two varieties we have the sieved and the unsieved and uh, there's a, a subsidiary company that we're dealing with that employs almost 20 people on site that does this so they go around take all the bad uh, used coconut, the coconut leftover coconut like this but after you've drank the juice and eating the flesh, this is what is left. They go around, gather this, blend it, and then sieve it and turn it into this for people to buy. So that is our subsidiary company as well that we help. We don't want to burden ourselves with everything, but we help him market, we help him do a lot of stuff, introduction to other markets as well. So that is our soil medium. So we go to, to the bread. These are the trays for the vegetables the nesting. So these are some of the nests. We also do testing. We test uh, vegetables and other things. But this is the interesting part. Feeding them because we don't have these ready. So once these are ready, we move them in. So these are the snails as well. We hold them temporarily in these boxes. Feed them, water them, and uh, make sure they are ready to go in the bigger housing that once we done. Why we're stopping this is we are stopping this because one, uh, you see contact, I just touched it. That is not supposed to be so. Uh, they need, they know that we are predators. We eat them. So when you pick them up, they do a defense mechanism. They squirt this water on you. 
you know, my, and then that that tells us that they know that we are predators because we've picked them up. So we've also had issues where uh, diseases have traveled from us to them. A lady had a cold. You know, when you have cold, you yeah. And she touched them, and the next day they were dead, and some had bulgy eyes. And that was a different type of death. We had not seen that before. So we reported that. I wanted to know what that was, basically. And then we found out that it was the cold that had killed them. So meaning that the best option is to go this way. You know, the greenhouses, where everything is automated. They do not see you, but you can do observation around the net and see how they are going and all that, you know. And we feel that is the way to go. So these are the snails as well. So. You never had hit that problem with the heat, heating up? Or no, so, so you see, you can feel it that it attains the temperature of the area it is in. That is how metal is. Metal attains the temperature of the, mm -hmm. the location or the environment it is in. And why we chose galvanized was that the other metals were killing them. They, you know snails are they cling to the side, try to gnaw anything and everything. So they will start eating the rust. And when they die and you press it, you know, they have their stomach lining here. You press it, you will feel the sharp objects in there. Okay, okay. Like fishes will yeah, eat yeah, plastic yeah, yeah. and other things. Let's and see. seagulls will also yeah. swallow all these things. They eat everything thinking it's food. So last time we felt and we saw that they were having their grits in there, which probably killed them. So, but with this, it doesn't react. Yeah. You know, it the doesn't react. And, exactly. Yeah. So everything is galvanized. That was what we were using this, but we have gone to the extent that we feel we have to give them a little extra. You know, like every other business, if you want to scale up, you need to expand your thinking as well. That's why we did this. So why we got into the greenhouses was that we saw a lot of wasted greenhouses around you know people had abandoned a lot of greenhouses uh, because of lack of uh, the knowledge to manage it you know people just think hey greenhouse you just get it and just you know you're ready to go but they don't invest in the knowledge in people in labor you know they don't invest in that so that is basically so this one attains the temperature it is in if you feel the down part where the soil is feel it it's very cold yeah. you see yeah. but this side is a bit warmer so that is an excellent it also mimics humidity in the forest you know the forest top canopy is hotter okay. and the down is hotter as well but the middle is a bit colder so that is how this is and then earlier we we're recycling these car tires for a lot of uh, the process the salt is we are not very organized because we are not done with the setup. But once we done uh, everything. So we do everything in-house, we roll our own metal, we recycle a lot of the metals. So these are bad metals we find elsewhere. And then we recycle yeah. it to throw this because they are blue boards. Uh, a whole lot of them lined up in Ghana that are wasted. Yeah. No one wants them again. But what do you do with it? So you break them down this way, you wear weld them and then use them for uh, the reconstruction. This is a, a tank we found elsewhere which is not being used. But we're going to restructure it into a pressure tank which will make sure that our water flows by gravity and boost the pressure in there. So we do a lot of recycling as well. And, uh, so this is the style we show now. So uh, our head of engineering just stepped out, but he'll be back soon. So we are building four here, and this alone can contain almost uh, forty thousand snails here. Alone. Full grown snails. Yes, full grown snails. Two years. Yes. Yeah. So what we are doing is that we are providing. Uh, sort of a, a base for people in Ghana here to have a sustainable form of investment. So the lady who built one just a few blocks from here who is who is having the snails in there and doing very well. So 
And this is the basic we do. My people say, hey, I want you to customize this for me. I want a big one about that size, about that size. And we are able to do that. Any size you want. We are able to do that size for you. So we are building four here just for demonstrations. And the excellent next thing we are doing is this. So we saw that there are a few other people who cannot manage this new themselves. They say, hey. I don't have uh, room, I don't have space, I don't have any other thing, I don't have enough money to afford one of these. So we say, hey, no worries. So with connection with uh, British Council, DIZ, because we're going through a lot of accelerator courses with them, they are helping us build a portal, a website, where individuals like that can go and invest. So he can say, hey, uh, I want to invest 5,000 CD in six months. How much will I get? Then you get 18% or 20% or 24% of that. Which you sit at home and get. But the awesome different thing is this. Our setup is going to be bugged with camera. So if you are an investor, you say, hey, uh, you, you tell your, your someone else that, hey, I'm, I'm invested in this. They say, no, 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 no. This is Ghana, you know, anything can happen. They can just vote. And you say, no, 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 but I have a photo. I can, I can see what they're doing. They say, no way. And you click on it, then the live comes. These are live feed, not recorded. So live feed, you can see the snails, you can see everything. These guys were then you could see them if the cameras were installed. Everything will be doing it, man. It means that you can easily lose it. In the court, I can tell you, oh, your owner, I bought it. Uh, two real barrels and I bought this and you know every but the money is gone. The money is gone. But if you give it to us as a loan, so we're giving it to clients, we're taking it from clients as a loan. Exactly. So we are taking it as a loan and then we are building a lot of these. So we are getting land along the bridge to the Korea Express on their bridge stretch where we are going to build a lot of these loan. So we are going to manage people's investment for them. But the option is going to be different. We are going to let them see. Anytime you can come on site to see your investment. Anytime you want to, you can play. And premium paying customers can also get more. So you see, this could be a recorded video. You know, this is Ghana anyway. So you tell your friend, and he says, no, this could be recorded. So you as a premium customer who has paid more than 5,000 CDs, you can do a voice over IP voice over call. So you just say, oh, I have 20 minutes every month to call. So you just say, hey, I can call them now if you want. You, you, you get to your Skype or WhatsApp. We are trying to figure out the platform that would be excellent for that. And then you can call voice over IP. So there are two people trained in the camera, body camera, and they will say, yes, sir, camera one, my name is Api, I have an idea of home. I'd like you to go to the feeding chamber for me to see. Okay, sir. So this is the feeding chamber, these are the fields, this is uh, the vegetable we are doing, it is called that, and we knew about that, we started it in last month. And then you can see live feed. So your investment is secure. The third option is that we are insured by the Ghana Agri Insurance School. Meaning that you uh, we are insured against theft, we are insured against diseases, pest, uh, act of God, anything, act of nature, everything, we are insured. And then the next option is we are invested with two CDs. And then you give me your money and I'm not able to get 20,000, I get 18,000. They're going to hedge the price, they're going to pay more so that it reaches the 20,000 for you, the investor. So that is called price hedging. 